The 4th of July tragedy. Tonight, the family of a Lawrence man killed in a jet ski crash wants answers. They say 39-year-old Juan Arroyo was experienced and safe on the water. Witnesses say several people were partying in that area when Arroyo and another jet skier collided. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Lowell tonight, where, Mike, we know police are searching for the other person who was involved in this crash. That's right, Lisa. There were hundreds of people along the river, dozens more in the river on boats and on jet skis. I spoke to the victim's family, and they tell me they're finding it hard to believe that nobody knows who was on that other jet ski or where it went. Good guy. Good guy. The family of 39-year-old Juan Carlos Arroyo of Lawrence is pleading for someone to come forward to help figure out what happened on the Merrimack River yesterday afternoon. It's hurting us that they took a good person out of our life. They took a brother, they took a father, a son, somebody's son. A friend. It was a life partner. Arroyo died from injuries after his jet ski collided with another one near Rhine Beach in Lowell. The Middlesex District Attorney's Office says the second jet ski took off around two during the busy Fourth of July afternoon. The Lowell Police Department spending the last three days doing more than 90 safety checks of boats and jet skis to prevent problems on the water. They work with Chelmsford PD and environmental police to patrol the Merrimack during the busy summer months. It is hot at the police. Um, it's a busy area out there. It gets very busy down that end of the river by the beach area. Right now, Massachusetts does not have a mandatory boat education law for adults like in New Hampshire, where a certificate is required for all to operate a boat or jet ski. I think it would be a good idea. Uh, education uh, could prevent a lot of the problems that occur out here. Meanwhile, Arroyo's family tells us the husband and father of four is no amateur and would have gotten out of the way if he saw the other jet ski coming. At this point, we only want to answer. We want to know the truth. And if you were down here yesterday and you have any information, you're asked to call Lowell Police or the Environmental Police. We're live in Lowell tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.